I'd like to do a basic example uh, um, of integration where we're using integration by parts. And the example I'd like to do is I'd like to integrate I'd like to integrate x times cosine of 3x dx. Now something I should point out before we go on a preliminary that if we want to integrate cosine of 3x itself with respect to x, we can do this using u substitution letting u be equal to 3x. If u is equal to 3x, we need to calculate dx, and so we start by taking the derivative of u with respect to x, which is 3, and then solving for dx, we get dx is du divided by 3. So making this replacement, we have the integral of cosine of u, remember 3x is u, and dx is du over 3. Now, of course, the constant factor of 1 third can come out of this integral, so we have 1 third the integral of cosine of u du. And this is 1 third sine of u plus a constant of integration, which is replacing u with 3x, 1 third sine of 3x plus the constant of integration. Notice here, when we integrate cosine of 3x with respect to x, we get the integral of cosine sine of 3x divided by 3 plus a constant of integration. This is a special case of a more general, situ a more general um, rule that if we integrate cosine raised or cosine, excuse me, of b times x with respect to x, where b is a constant, we get the antiderivative of cosine sine of bx divided by b plus, plus a constant. All right. Furthermore, if we were integrating something of the form sine of bx with respect to x, we would get antiderivative of sine, which is negative cosine of bx, again divided by b, plus a constant of integration. If we were integrating e to the b times x with respect to x, we would get, well, antiderivative of e to the x is e to the x, but of course this would be e to the bx divided by b plus a constant of integration. This is something to remember. All right, now let's go back to our problem. We were going to integrate, use integration by parts to calculate the indefinite integral of x times cosine of 3x with respect to x. All right, using the L, I, A, T, E principle, x is an algebraic function. Cosine of 3x is a trigonometric function. All right, since x appears to the left, we'll let u be equal to x, and dv be cosine of 3x dx. All right, we'll need to know what v is. That'll be antiderivative of cosine of 3x, which we've just seen would be sine of 3x divided by 3. We can dispense with the constant of integration. And 
du will need, so du dx is equal to 1, which means that du is the same as dx. Right? Now, if we apply the integration by parts formula, all right, which says integral of integral of u dv is equal to u v minus the integral of v du, then this integral of cosine of x times cosine of 3x dx becomes u times v, which will be x sine of 3x divided by 3 minus <clears throat> the integral of sine of 3x over 3 dx. We can take the factor of 1 third out of the integral and we'll be left with x sine of 3x over 3 minus 1 third the integral of sine of 3x is negative cosine of 3x divided by 3 plus a constant of integration, so this becomes x sine of 3x over 3 minus, I should say plus, minus negative cosine, cosine of 3x over 9 plus a constant of integration.